Hello and welcome to Pastors Library. My name is Stephen Redman. This is the channel where we talk about everything to do with theology books, be they for a reading list for your master's or for your bachelor's degrees, or whether it's uh, to do with a course at seminary or a Bible college, or just those books that have appeared from time to time on your pastor's or minister's bookshelf. Uh, today, we're going to talk a little bit about a particular author. If you enjoy what we're saying, please give us a thumbs up. Um, remember to click subscribe and click on the bell, and then you'll know next time we publish an episode of Pastor's Library. So today, I want to talk about James Dunn. Uh, James Dunn was born in 1939, he died in 2020, uh, but he has left an enormous legacy of written theology, which helps us all. Um, when I went to Bible College to do my master's degree, um, I found him on the uh, pneumatology uh, reading list. And um, as an Anglican, although he spent time in the Methodist Church and in the Church of Scotland, uh, as an Anglican, uh, one sort of thinks, what's he doing teaching the Pentecostals about uh, Pentecost, about the uh, coming of the Holy Spirit? But actually, anybody who dismisses James Dunn, I think, is doing themselves a disservice. It's not about the denomination that one's part of. It's about one's degree of study and experience. Um, a, a comment that is widely quoted uh, that was said about James Dunn is anyone who is interested in the rigorous study of early Christianity and who has not engaged with the works of James D.G. Dunn is not really interested in the rigorous study of early Christianity, which is, is rather a good quote. Uh, but the truth is, he has delivered time and time again um, on terrific areas of study. Uh, you can watch him online on YouTube uh, talking with N.T. Wright about um, uh, Jesus and about Paul and uh, he's, he's a great uh, speaker. He died at 80 years of age which is not that old these days but he has left a great legacy behind. So to start with I'd like to point out this book, which was written in 1970, called The Baptism in the Holy Spirit. And this book has caused great controversy at the time, but it also delivered a really well-written theology, which wasn't actually quite as accessible as you would have thought in 1970. And it's a great book. Um, do I agree with absolutely everything he says? Maybe not. But broadly speaking, this is a book we can all join in, whether you're Pentecostal, Charismatic, New Church, Anglican, whatever you are, this is something to be cherished and it still has value even though it's over 50 years old. Uh, so a good, a good book. Five years later, he brought us Jesus and the Spirit. Uh, Jesus and the Spirit uh, is a study of charismatic experience um, of, of Jesus and of the early Christians uh, as per the New Testament. And again, this is a great book. He, he has a brilliant grasp of the New Testament writings. His understanding of New Testament Greek is obviously quite clear and he really does uh, deliver the goods with this book. And again, 1975, it's coming up for 50 years old and it still has a lot to offer. Now, there are a number of outstanding works that I think he will always be remembered for. Um, the first one is this two volume set, uh, The Christ and the Spirit. Volume one deals with Christology and Christology uh, is definitely one of James Dunn's or as he was called by his friends, Jimmy, uh, one of Jimmy Dunn's real uh, um, expertise areas. And pneumatology is probably the other. And these two uh, are really excellent textbooks. Uh, whatever you're doing in the study of pneumatology or Christology, I would be sure that these books would help you. Um, Another area that uh, Jimmy uh, was really 
um, obvious uh, in was in the studies of uh, Paul the Apostle. And he wrote the Cambridge Companion to St. Paul, which is a very prestigious book and a very good all-rounder if you're starting Pauline studies. He also wrote um, The New Perspective on Paul. Uh, this one's the revised edition. Uh, but you will still hear people arguing about this. Um, there are certain people who uh, get blamed for the new perspective of Paul, but actually it was a term coined by Dunn. And um, I have to say to you, this makes excellent reading. It isn't rubbishing everything that's come before it. It's just offering um, a modern view, uh, a biblical view, uh, which I found very helpful indeed. Um, and whereas people, like I say, t tend to blame N.T. Wright for everything to do with the new interpretation of Paul, the new perspective on Paul. Actually, Dunn is the person who was really behind it, and uh, it's a great book. Um, just uh, a, two or three other books before we get on to his commentaries. Um, this is an introduction to New Testament theology, and... Um, it's a good all-round starter for anybody engaging with um, perhaps um, a first degree uh, in theology or, or a term of study into Christian theology. It's a, you could do a lot worse with re than reading that. It's good. Um, this is a very small book for something written by James Dunn. But this is called uh, Jesus is Called to Discipleship. And it's a very good book which will engage you with the ideas of mission and discipleship. And um, it's a worthwhile read. This book, I would say, is sometimes overlooked a little bit. And it really is a good read. It's called Unity and Diversity in the New Testament, uh, which is an inquiry into the character of early Christianity. And again, this is the second edition. Uh, a number of his books have, have qualified for reprints and, and new editions. And um, it, it's, a, it's a good one. The, the, the chapter that I really got engaged with personally was the one called Enthusiastic Christianity, which sounds good to me. It's the only sort that I'm familiar with, really. Um, and uh, I did say to you Christology was one of his strong fields of study. This one is called Christology in the Making, uh, which is an inquiry into the origins of the Incarnation, which is a good pre-Christmas read. But I really want to just draw your attention to this, which is one of three volumes uh, which he wrote uh, towards the end of his life, Christianity in the Making, volumes one, two, and three. This one happens to be two. And these are really substantial, hardbound books uh, with a beige cover and a good slip cover on top of that. And... Um, this one is um, something like uh, 1,300 pages, and they're all pretty much getting on that way. These are expensive books, but these are tremendous reads and very good to dip into when you're, you've got a particular area of study. Um, and uh, I, I, I don't want to make a whole video about them right now, but these are a definite good read. And I have to say that uh, Jimmy Dunn will always have enriched my life with these. Um, in terms of his work in the field of commentaries, um, there are just really two that I want to particularly point out to you. They're not the only two, but he did, get, he did qualify to write for the New International Greek Testament Commentary Series, which, you know, only the top people get, got the invite to that. And this one is, is Colossians and Philemon, and uh, it's a great commentary on both of these books. Dunn's insight to these books is absolutely brilliant. And this is working at the top level of technical commentaries, uh, of academic commentaries, uh, going straight back to the original language. And um, you will always benefit from any of the NIGTC commentaries. But this one is a, is a winner. And um, I suppose the last one I want to comment on is a two-volume commentary he wrote for Word, uh, the Word Biblical Commentary Series on Romans. And I have always got so much out of these. I mean, these were 
uh, th these are books which I've probably had now for 15 years and um, they are always getting used. Um, they go back to 1988, which means that they're on the verge now of um, uh, quotability is not recommended type of thing at Bible College University. But uh, these are still excellent. They are academic books that really uh, offer amongst the top understanding of the Book of Romans. And in two volumes, you will get real detail on every page. And um, I cannot recommend that enough. I mean, it, it really, really is excellent. So um, in, in just a, a few short minutes, that's as much as I can really give you on James Dunn. But let me say that James Dunn has his own shelf in my library. He's it, an excellent author. He's left us with a great written legacy. And I thank God for James Dunn and for men like him. And the, the study of theology is all about standing on the shoulders of giants. And James Dunn was definitely one of those giants. And I would just encourage you to climb up with me and let's see what the view is like from the top of his pile of books. So God bless you. I hope that's worked for you. If it has, remember to give us thumbs up, click on subscribe and click on the bell and we'll let you know as soon as we issue another episode of Pastor's Library. Thank you very much. Thank you.